Okay, what we have here are some used pieces of Ron Tawa. This is Ron 20, which is almost the same thing as this Ron 25. The difference is the distance between the struts there, the gussets, the steps, or whatever you want to call them, is a little more spaced out on the 20. I don't know exactly the specification difference, but that's what it is. When you're fortunate enough to get your hands on some used tower and you bring it home, sometimes you'll find that uh, the sections are uh, bent and you have to cut them. That's what I've done in, on these. They've all been shortened to a uniform length, except for this one uh, piece here is nine foot six inches or about and uh, over here what I'm going to show you is what happens to the ends of the tower when somebody tightens it up too much uh, you can see uh, let me try not to get a shadow here you can see right here is dented in because the person tightened the bolts too much that leaves a problem when you try to take a section of the tower and you try to put it together like this, it won't go in because the uh, section of the tower is um, pinched. So uh, let me try to get this out. So the idea is how do we straighten it out without making some kind of an elaborate expansion tool or something like that. So I had to figure out what's hanging around a pole bond that I could use. Well, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. I, what I did was I took a heavy duty spanner wrench and it just happens that one of the sizes, the outside diameter, is just right to fit in and but as you can see when it gets down here towards the when it gets down towards the pot that's crimped it won't go through so what we have to do is drive this in here or to expand indents. these and uh, once we expand these indents we're all set so that's what I'm gonna do So once this goes in and it gets past this point over here, you'll notice that this thing becomes very easily moved there. Okay? But once it gets back here, where this has been compressed, yeah. so we'll just run that in and out a couple times. what it does is it takes these little dimples out and it allows a section of tower to slide in and line up like the cat's meow so that's our little hint thank you that's our little hint and uh, of course all the disclaimers that go with disclaimers we're not responsible for nothing, so don't fall off your tower. Don't pinch your fingers. Don't get hurt. And you know your tower warranty is invalid now that you banged on it. Hi, hi. Well, 73s from K1ZEK. Okay, we'll take care now, guys.